In this video, we explore history's most notorious curses of all time. At number five is the Curse of Tippy Canoe. Did Native American leader Tecumseh curse President William Henry Harrison after Harrison's troops emerged victorious at the Battle of Tippy Canoe? Perhaps, as historians have noted ever since Harrison became president in 1840, every person elected to the office in 20-year intervals has died while serving as president. Harrison died of pneumonia after just one month in office. Abraham Lincoln, elected in 1860, was assassinated, as were James A. Garfield, elected in 1880, and William McKinley, elected in 1900. Both Warren G. Harding, elected in 1920, and Franklin D. Roosevelt, elected in 1940, died of natural causes in office, while John F. Kennedy, elected in 1960, was assassinated. Ronald Reagan, elected in 1980, was the target of an assassin's bullet in 1981, but but he survived and the curse was lifted. At number four is the curse of the Hope Diamond. French merchant Jean-Baptiste Tavernier, according to legend, stole a 115 carat blue diamond from the eye of a Hindu idol in India. For this sacrilege, Tavernier was supposedly mauled to death by dogs. But in reality, he sold the gem to King Louis XVI of France in 1669 and retired a wealthy man. All went well until the diamond fell into the hands of King Louis XVI and his wife, Marie Antoinette, who were beheaded during the French Revolution. After Lord Francis Hope of England inherited the diamond, he married an American showgirl. The pair squandered their fortune, sold the diamond, and were eventually reduced to poverty. After Evelyn Walsh McLean bought the stone in 1912, her son was killed in a car accident, her daughter committed suicide, and her husband left her for another woman. He eventually ended up in an insane asylum. The Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History bought the Hope Diamond in 1958 and hasn't suffered from owning it, but a truck hit the postman who delivered the jewel he survived. His wife and dog died not long after, however, and his home caught fire. At number three is the curse of the Polish king's tomb. In 1973, a group of archaeologists opened the tomb of the 15th century Polish king Casimir IV Jagiellon in Krakow, Poland. The European media hyped up the event, and the researchers involved allegedly joked that they were risking a curse on the tomb by opening it. When some of the team members began to die shortly after, some media outlets speculated it was due to a curse. Later, experts discovered traces of deadly fungi inside the tomb that can cause lung illnesses when breathed in. This might have been the cause of their deaths. At number two is the curse of Tima's tomb. A warlord and nobleman who controlled a vast swath of Asia during the 14th century, Timur, also known as Tamerlane, was renowned as a military tactician whose warfare killed around 17 million people. He was also a celebrated patron of architecture and the arts. However, in 1941, Joseph Stalin sent a team of archaeologists to open Timur's tomb in Samarkand, Uzbekistan, much to the alarm of local residents and Muslim clergy. Upon on opening Timur's coffin, the team discovered an inscription, whoever opens my tomb shall unleash an invader more terrible than I. Within a matter of hours, Adolf Hitler's troops invaded Russia. An estimated 26 million people died as a result. In 1942, Stalin ordered Timur's remains to be reinterred back in Samarkand in accordance with Islamic tradition. Shortly thereafter, the German army surrendered at Stalingrad, ending their campaign against the Russians. And at number one is the Mummy's Curse. According to some reports, the tomb of King Tutankhamun was guarded by a stone inscribed with the ominous threat, Death shall come on swift wings to him who disturbs the peace of the king. Undeterred, Egyptologists Howard Carter and Lord Carnarvon opened the tomb to worldwide fanfare in 1922. Shortly thereafter, however, unfortunate outcomes occurred to those who had entered the tomb. Lord Carnarvon died four months later while in Egypt from an infected mosquito bite. A few hours after his death back in England, Carnarvon's beloved dog, Susie, let out a yelp and died. Financier George J. Gould died of a fever six months after visiting the tomb. Wolf Joel, a South African millionaire, was murdered a few months after he visited the tomb. A.C. Mace, a member of Carter's archaeological team, was killed 
by arsenic poisoning. Carter's secretary was found smothered in his bed in 1929. However, researchers have determined that of the dozens of people connected with the opening of the tomb, the vast majority lived long and healthy lives. Others have speculated that some of the deaths may be attributed to toxic molds or bacteria that were disturbed when the tomb was opened. Please hit the subscribe button. If not, you will be cursed. And if you made it this far, smash the like button.